So now that we've seen a stack out of a linked list, let's see how to make a stack out of a array. Uh, I copied and pasted the last file we used, and I'm going to delete this uh, stack node. We don't need that. I'm going to rename this class to say array stack. Uh, and I'm going to say this dot data is equal to a new array with maybe 20 things in it in the beginning. And let's see how we can rewrite all of these methods. So to determine if this thing is empty, we don't look at the top anymore. Now we just see if this dot size is zero. Uh, the length is the same. We just return the size. Uh, if we push something on, instead of creating a, uh, a new node and building up this, this linked list, we simply want to say this dot data at this dot size equals the value. So the size is always going to be indexing the last empty element of the array. And if we ever pop something, we can say, I want to say, let's get the result and let's have the result be equal to this dot data at this dot size minus one. Now we can decrement the size and now we can uh, return that result. I think it would also be nice to say, um, let's make sure that we just null out whatever was there. So when we're popping something, we're guaranteed to be popping it from the end of the array. So all we need to do is get that value, uh, overwrite it so it's null, we don't have to overwrite anything else because we're guaranteed to only be interacting with the end of the array. And the peak method is very similar. We can just immediately return what's at the end of the array uh, without modifying anything. Uh, there is just one thing here. Um, I think, remember in the array list, uh, the big difference between the, the linked list and the array is if we're interacting with a linked list, we can keep making nodes and, and shifting these nodes forever. If we keep pushing things on an array, we're eventually going to hit the end of the array. So if we ever hit the end of the array, let's do that trick where we grow the array where it goes from something about this size and basically uh, doubles its size. So let's build a grow command that takes the array into something that's uh, basically twice as large. So let's say, um, let data equals a new array which is going to be this dot data dot length uh, times two. So it's gonna be twice as large. And now we can say let i equal zero while i is less than this dot data dot length i plus plus. And we'll say the data at i is this dot data at i. And at the very end, we'll update it so that the data in the actual class here is now this array that's been doubled. And here, if we push it, we can add a simple check, uh, which says if this dot data dot length is ever the equal to the size, now we can grow the array. So notice that the, the cool thing about this is we actually have two different implementations of the stack, but they have the exact same interface. So I can change this to say from linked stack to say array stack, and we can push all these things in, we can pop them all off, and it should behave exactly the same. So if I run it, yeah, we see exactly that. We pushed all these things in, now as we pop them off, they come in in the opposite order. So notice there that really the only thing I changed was I changed it from a link stack to an array stack. 
And uh, that's a little interesting. Um, when we look at these two implementations, you can see that, let me actually collapse all of these methods on each side. And uh, we're just gonna kind of take a moment to look at them and see that it's totally possible to build a stack out of a linked list or a stack out of an array. And it's just interesting that they have the exact same method signature. Uh, this one has that additional grow command, but no one should ever really call that from outside of the class. Um, it's just interesting to see that you can, you can implement things in entirely different ways, uh, but they, you can still interact with them. So this is actually a, a concept called, uh, well, I guess it would be called encapsulation. Um, what we mean by encapsulation is that if you know the methods that are on a class and you have a, a well-defined, if you have a, a good definition of how they should behave, then you don't really need to know how the class is actually defined. So um, even though all that we need to know about this thing is that it is a stack. We don't actually need to need to care if it's a linked stack or if it's an array stack, but um, knowing more about these data structures again is just going to help us uh, perhaps make better choices while we're we're programming uh, what we need to do. Um, this is a concept I'm going to cover elsewhere, so keep an eye out for that. Oh, 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 oh,